Chief Meteorologist Brad Barton live in the WBAP Weather Center. Yes, a tornado warning is being issued now for northeastern Denton County, northwestern Collin County, and southwestern Grayson County until 9.30. Stand by as we alert our other stations in the area on WBAP. programming at the request of the National Weather Service to activate the North Texas Emergency Alert System. The National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Denton County, northwestern Collin County, and southwestern Grayson County until 9.30. A severe thunderstorm, April of the a tornado is located Pilot Point by 8.55, that's six minutes from now. Frisco and Prosper by 9 o'clock, that's 11 minutes from now. Salina by 9.10, 21 minutes from now. And Anna and Van Alstine by 9.30. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Melissa, Providence, Lincoln Park, Weston, and Oak Park. Once again, this is a tornado warning. The National Weather Service says take shelter now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If outdoors, in a mobile home or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying storm debris. If you are without shelter, get into a ditch, lie flat, and stay below ground at level. Once again, to avoid storm debris. This is a tornado warning for northeastern Denton, northwestern Collin. The preceding message. Well, there we go. Um, that was a tornado warning for uh, Collin, Denton, and Grayson counties in uh, north central Texas on uh, WBAP on 820. Oh, boy. And look at how much... I mean, a lot of stuff already happened already. I didn't miss a lot, but I don't know. But this may be, this may not be the only, um, the only set of waves that they're gonna get. I'm pretty sure another wave is coming. I'm pretty sure another wave is coming. So all we had, all we have to do is find out and see what Mother Nature has up his up her sleeves. Oh boy. And there's still a tornado watch there until 2 a.m. So, but yeah, whew. that's in effect until 9.30. Jeez. But, yeah. Up oh, tornado warning for Collin, Denton, and Grayson counties in north central Texas. Wow. programming at the request of the National Weather Service to activate the North Texas Emergency Alert System. The National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for eastern Stevens County and for Palo Pinto County until 10 p.m. A severe thunderstorm was located eight miles southwest of Possum Kingdom State Park or 16 miles east of Breckenridge, moving east at 40 miles per hour. The storm may contain 60 mile per hour winds and half dollar size hail. Once again, a severe thunderstorm warning issued for Eastern Stevens and for all of Palo Pinto County until 10 p.m., a severe storm located eight miles southwest of Possum Kingdom State Park, moving east at 40 miles per hour with 60 mile per hour winds and half dollar sized hail. All North Texas stations 
affected by this alert are requested to relay the preceding message. And that was an SVR. Okay, back to live. Uh, for Palo Pinto in Stevens County, in Texas uh, as well. I think. Oh, hang on, they updated the tornado one and they canceled the one for Dayton. But Colin and Galeason continues. So. Now, I don't know what's going to happen next. Uh, SVA number 91 in Texas did expire, but the tornado watch is still in the FET there in Texas. So. So as you don't mind, as all bots talk, the site continued to issue terminal area dome forecasts. So just um, that's usually their thing that they usually do. But um, but yeah, but hopefully this uh, cell is not going to be too too bad. Um, I mean, besides this is enhanced risk. But as soon as it gets to uh, the parishes in Louisiana, it's probably going to get pretty bad but i can't get a station in louisiana so can't get those alerts but hopefully it's not gonna be horrible and um yeah just hoping for the best that's what we're working on right now we'll put those warnings out momentarily and you say you're ready david okay let's pull the trigger programming at the request of the National Weather Service to activate the North Texas Emergency Alert System. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm warnings for southeastern Denton County and southwestern Collin County until 1015. A severe thunderstorm is located over the community of Bartonville near Trophy Club, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Previous thunderstorms have produced tornadic circulations near Aubrey, moving east across the Collin County line. Once again, a severe thunderstorm warning indicated for Denton County and southeastern Collin County until 1015. A new severe thunderstorm located over Bartonville near Trophy Club, moving east at 25 miles per hour. This line has produced tornado warnings in Denton and Collin counties within the last hour. All North Texas stations affected by this alert are requested to relay the preceding message. Yikes. That is not a good sign. There's another one. The storm circulation has okay. This is a tornado probability. Stand by as we alert other stations in the area on WBAP. Pull the trigger! <laughs> That's like also interference in the station. There we go. We interrupt programming at the request of the National Weather Service to activate the North Texas Emergency Alert System. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm warnings for northwestern Hunt County, northeastern Collin County, southeastern Grayson County, and southwestern Bannon County until 1030. Severe thunderstorms located over Anna or nine miles northeast of McKinney are moving east at 30 miles per hour with 60 mile per hour wind gusts and nickel sized hail. This particular area of the line of thunderstorms produced tornado warnings in Denton and Collin counties about one hour ago and are still capable of producing strong circulating tornadic winds. Once again, a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Hunt County, southeastern Grayson County, southwestern Fannin County, and northeastern Collin County until 1030. A severe thunderstorm located near Anna, nine miles northeast of McKinney, is moving east at 30 miles per hour. All North Texas stations affected by this alert are requested to relay the preceding message. Goodness gracious. Man, good night, Mickey Movie. Man, good night. Man. Mickey Movie's probably having uh, not a good night right now. Wow. Man, with this being a tornadic probability, oh boy. And they still said that this, that it that that they're still probably um, um, developing strong circular circular uh, tornadoes, 
Oh gosh, that is not a good sign. Oh boy, dude. Mickey movie. Man, good night, man. Hope, man. Hope you're okay, man. Jeez. He is not having a good night right now. Goodness gracious. That's insane. That's insane, man. 800 Live in the WBAP Weather Center, a tornado warning is being issued for northeastern Collin County. Stand by as we alert our other stations in the area on WBAP. of the National Weather Service to activate the North Texas Emergency Alert System. The National Weather Service has issued new tornado warnings for northwestern Hunt County, southwestern Fannin County, and northeastern Collin County until 10-15. A severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado is located eight miles east of Anna, or roughly 15 miles northeast of McKinney, moving due east at 30 miles per hour. This storm may contain a tornado and quarter-sized hail. Flying debris can be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes can be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles can occur. Tree damage is likely. This particular storm will be near Leonard by 9.55, Celeste by 10 o'clock, Wolf City by 10.15. Westminster and Blue Ridge are also in the path of this storm. Take shelter now as the storm is moving into the area. To an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building, avoid windows. If outside in a mobile home or a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter or get into a ditch below ground level to protect yourself from flying debris. Once again, a tornado warning for northwestern Hunt, northeastern Collin County, and southwestern Fannin County until 10:15. All North Texas stations affected by this alert are requested to relay the preceding message. Yikes. Oh, man. That's another one. Another TOR. Oh, my God. So mornings are now being issued for Tarrant and Dallas counties. Stand by as we alert our other stations in the area on WBAP. WBAP. Dallas and Tarrant. I'm put new batteries in here. We interrupt programming at the request of the National Weather Service to activate the North Texas Emergency Alert System. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm warnings for northeastern Tarrant County and northern Dallas County until 1045. Severe thunderstorms are located along a line extending from Grapevine down to Fort Worth moving east at 25 miles per hour. These storms may contain 60 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington, Garland, Irving, Rowlett, Flower Mound, Top L, Hurst, Euless, Bedford, Flowers Branch, and South Lake are all included in this warning, including sections of Interstate 35W and I-35P, also I-30 uh, between there it Dallas is. and Fort Worth. Right there. And the hits just keep on coming. With the latest on the Russian war with Ukraine, with News Talk A20 WBAP, 99.5 FM HD2 and WBAP.com. Chief Meteorologist Brad Barton live in the WBAP Weather Center. Flash flood warnings are now being issued for Collin and Denton counties. 
Stand by as we alert our other stations in the area on WBAP. on WBAP. I'm meteorologist Brad Barton, live from the WBAP Weather Center. We will be activating a severe, uh, rather a flash flood warning for Collin and southeastern Denton counties momentarily. We are also under a tornado watch until two, and torrential rains are underway right now. Really? Across the area. I mean, if you're in one of these things, we're also actually getting some small hail, it appears. Um... In uh, northwestern uh, Dallas County right now, small hail, and I'll check the, let me check the hail signatures. Yeah, around Carrollton Farmers Branch, probably down to about uh, uh, Coppell, we are seeing some small hail at this time, uh, and very gusty winds as well, but oh. torrential rainfall. Uh, so I see why. Freeway, uh, 121 Sam Rayburn, uh, conditions are almost intolerable. Let's go ahead and activate our flash flood warnings now for Collin and Denton counties. ZZZW Edsaw FFW. ZZZW Edsaw FFW. ZZZW Edsaw FFW. Flash flood warning. Told you guys about time. We interrupt programming at the request of the National Weather Service to activate the North Texas Emergency Alert System. The National Weather Service has issued flash flood warnings for Collin County and southeastern Denton County until 2 a.m. Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across southeastern Denton County and Collin County. Uh, one to three inches of rain have already fallen. Additional rainfall of another one to three inches on top of that means flash flooding is ongoing or imminent in Denton and Collin counties. Once again, a flash flood warning has been issued for Collin and southeastern Denton counties until 2 a.m. Extremely heavy rains of one to three inches so far, with another one to three inches to come across the area. Between now and 2 a.m., flash flooding is underway or imminent in Collin and Denton counties. All North Texas stations affected by this alert are requested to relay the preceding message. NNNN, NNNN, NNNN. Uh, live from the WBAP website, the of the Brave Barn 1008. Uh, yeah, here. you would not want to send a dog out on a night like Just this, that's for sure. And you would not want to be out in your car on a night like this either. Uh, we did have some strong storm rotation uh, reported from Aubrey to Salina earlier. We're now getting some uh, hail of some size in northwestern Dallas County and a flash, in, flash flood warning in effect for portions of Collin and Denton County until 2 a.m. That's all the, also the expiration for the tornado watt that is in effect for North Texas. We'll keep you advised. Live from the WBAP Weather Center, meteorologist Brad Barton back to Chris Drop on WBAP. Wow. Thank you, Brad. I'm, I'm getting a lot of... Uh... Okay, I guess not. Some warnings are being issued for Johnson, Parker, Tarrant, and Hood County. Stand by as we alert our other stations in the area on WBAP. thunderstorm warnings now issued for portions of Johnson, Parker, Tarrant, and Hood counties until 11 p.m. Severe thunderstorms moving in from the west with 60 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter-sized hail. A tornado watch is in effect for the entire area until 2 o'clock in the morning. All North Texas stations affected by this alert are requested to relay the preceding message.
All right, and we're going back to the radar here in the Dallas Fort Worth Wall County. Stand by as we alert our other stations in the area on WBAP. at the request of the National Weather Service to activate the North Texas Emergency Alert System. The National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Rockwall County and northeastern Dallas County until 11.30. A severe thunderstorm is located over U.S. Park, moving southeast at 30 miles per hour. The storm may contain 60 mile per hour winds and quarter-sized hail. Once again, a severe thunderstorm warning issued for Rockwall County and northeastern Dallas County until 11.30, a severe storm located over University Park, moving southeast at 20 miles per hour. All North Texas stations affected by this alert are requested to relay the preceding message. Wow, that was like the shortest word I caught all day. Okay, real quickly, we issued Shoot. for Johnson and Ellis counties. Stand by as we alert our other stations in the area on WBAP. Oh gosh. Looks like the tornado warnings first. We interrupt programming at the request of the National Weather Service to activate the North Texas Emergency Alert System. The National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Johnson and northwestern Ellis County until 11.15. A severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado is loca located over Cross Timber or Joshua moving east at 35 miles per hour. This is a radar indicated warning, but it indicates rotation in the middle of this thunderstorm. Once again, a tornado warning issued for northeastern Johnson County and northwestern Ellis County until 11.15. A severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado is located over Cross Timber or over Joshua, moving east at 35 miles per hour. All North Texas stations affected by this alert are requested to relay the preceding message. I think you should replace the word is with was, so that it will make it more sense. Okay, uh, live from the WBAP Weather Center. Yeah, there's another are SVR, a pretty strong sure. Strong rotation, a very bright spot on the Doppler radar array, uh, just south of Cross Timber, the community of yeah, Cross. There, there was also Timber another SVR that got issued. County. And that's where the tornado warning is centered right now. Right there. Uh, in fact, we are seeing a potential debris cloud. For yes, Dallas, Ellis, Johnson, and Tarrant. Language, but I just wanted to let you know that we're seeing it. And that may also be part of the uh, overall Land. warning of this area. But in Johnson County, uh, we are seeing uh, strong tornadic circulation. Uh-oh. And strong wind aloft. And a potential debris mm -hmm. signature in that particular thunderstorm. So, oh yeah, yeah, uh, significant rotation southeast of Cross Timber right now. Let me get back to the big radar, and we'll try to let you know who is in the path of this storm. Okay. Cross Timber is a small community not too far from Joshua, and this particular thunderstorm may well be moving toward um, Alvarado. Uh, within the next few minutes, crossing Interstate 35W, okay? That's where we are. Burleson, Briar Oaks, Joshua, Keene, and then this particular thunderstorm that we're watching, this particular circulation is moving east by southeast, and we'll be crossing sections of I-35W, maybe down toward Grandview, within the next few minutes, depending on how long it continues to track to the east-southeast. But tornado warning, Again, for Johnson and Ellis counties until 11:15. Additional severe thunderstorm warnings have been issued for Dallas, Tarrant, and Johnson counties, and we'll be putting those on later. Okay. But um, right now, we are watching uh, a strong tornadic circulation once again that is 
a little bit south of Joshua, moving toward I-35 W, not too far from Alvarado. You need to take shelter in that area as much as you possibly can, as soon as you possibly can, as the uh, tornadic thunderstorm signature is moving to the southeast. We will keep you advised. Live from the WBAP Weather Center, meteorologist Brad Barton, back to Chris Crock on WBAP. Over 10 years right, ago, so I had this crazy read, idea read to build a website there. that would protect right. homeowners oh, from shady contractors. Ooh. What was crazy was that the good Oh, shoot. Uh, the same warning. That, the tornado is now on the ground. It's on the ground now. Oh, shoot. It's on the ground. Oh, gosh. The tornado's on the ground. Oh, gosh. That is not good. Related, so be aware of that. We appreciate the call. Also, a closure due to an accident, 121 eastbound between Handley Ettermill and East Loop 820. Oh, my God. So many accidents going on. We now it's go insane. live to the WBAP Weather Center with Chief Media Here we go. They're probably going to issue the SVR now, you, finally. Mickey. The uh, most serious situation we've seen so far tonight is between Alvarado and Lillian, and it's happening right now. It looks to be a large tornadic circulation between Alvarado and Lillian. That is east of I-35W, south of Lillian in Johnson County. Shoot, and Johnson that's the County one that's observed. A tornado warning until 11:15, as is Ellis County, also under tornado warning until 11:15. The storm is moving to the east southeast at about 35 miles per hour. But again, a strong circulation seen south of Lillian in the uh, vicinity of the Happy Whoa. Hill neighborhood uh, between Lillian and Alvarado in Johnson County, east of I-35W, moving to the east-southeast, a strong tornadic circulation showing on radar. It may well include a debris signature, which is troubling, but it's something that we watch for during severe weather nights. The storm may have picked up some debris from uh, south of Briar Oaks, possibly crossing I-35W, and then into the Happy Hill neighborhood. But that's where our strongest circulation is, and that's where we may well be seeing a debris signature in central Johnson County, just a little bit to the north of Alvarado. Now we're going to widen out and tell you about where the rest of the warnings are. And a reminder, we're under a tornado watch until 2 o'clock. We have a severe thunderstorm warning. Actually, we'll activate this later, uh, but we needed to get the tornado warning on first for southern Dallas, southern Tarrant, and for portions of Ellis and Johnson counties. We will activate that momentarily, and then the severe thunderstorm warning expiring at 11:30 in northeastern Dallas County. The line of severe thunderstorms continues to move through from Garland and Heath down to Mansfield, down to Alvarado. And again, with numerous tornado warning signatures in Johnson County, we'll keep you advised. Live from the WBAP Weather Center, meteorologist Brad Barton. The Dallas Here we County, go. stand by as we alert our other stations in the area on WBAP. Finally! <laughs> Freaking 20 minutes late on the alert, but at least you finally were laying it. We interrupt programming at the request of the National Weather Service to activate the North Texas Emergency Alert System. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm warnings for Johnson, Tarrant, Ellis, and southern Dallas County until 11.45. Severe thunderstorms are located over Burleson, moving east at 35 miles per hour. These storms may contain 65 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter-sized hail, and a tornado watch is in effect for the warned area until 2 o'clock Tuesday morning. Once again, a severe thunderstorm warning issued for the following counties. Johnson County, Ellis County, Tarrant County, and Southern Dallas County until 1145, generally south of Interstate 30. Severe thunderstorms located over Burleson, moving east at 35 miles per hour. Tornado watch in effect until 2. All North Texas stations affected by this alert are requested to relay the preceding message. Jeez. Can't believe it took you guys that long to relay that warning. Holy cow, dude. 
And oh my god, that tornado currently ongoing in Ellis and Johnson counties. Oh man, I hope that doesn't escalate real fast. I really hope that doesn't escalate horribly. Oh god, that's that's a bad situation, but hopefully it just doesn't go hopefully it doesn't go worse. Oh gosh, hopefully it doesn't I just hope it doesn't go worse. Alert our other stations in the area on WBAP. Yeah, took you a while. We interrupt programming at the request of the National Weather Service to activate the North Texas Emergency Alert System. The National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Northern Johnson County, North Central Hill County, and Elk Ellis County in North Central Texas until 12:15. Severe so thunderstorms are located along a line extending from near Oak Leaf to near Grandview, moving east at 40 miles per hour. This storm has overturned an 18-wheeler on a highway near Midlothian and caused other damage to significant structures in Ellis and Johnson County. Oh my. Once again, a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Johnson, north central Hill, and for Ellis County until 12:15. Severe thunderstorms are located along a line from near Oak Leaf to Grandview, moving east at 40 miles per hour. These storms contain 65 mile per hour winds Quarter-sized tail oh. and a tornado watch remains in effect until 2 o'clock for the entire North Texas area. All North Texas stations affected by this alert are requested to relay the preceding message. Hey. Turn an 18-wheel over. Oh, my gosh. That storm freaking turned an 18-wheel over. I hope the driver of I hope the driver of that truck is okay. Because that's definitely not what you want to hear when you get an alert on your radio. You do not want to hear that. Especially if it involves a bunch of car accidents, because I've been listening to this and they said that a bunch of car accidents has been has has been happening because of the of the weather that's currently going on down there in Texas. Oh my gosh. I'm praying that the there was not that many life-threatening injuries. I'm seriously hoping not. I'm seriously hoping it all goes well. There was also a bush. That, there was. There was also a house fire. They mentioned a house fire. Oh my gosh! A freaking house fire caused by lightning. Jeez Louise, man! This is nightmare fuel. Oh my god! Glad I'm not living down there, but man, Mickey Movie is going for one heck of a ride, that's for sure. God. This is Chief Meteorologist Brad Barton live in the WBAP Weather Center. A flash flood warning is now being issued for Dallas County. Stand by as we alert our other stations in the area on WBAP. programming at the request of the National Weather Service to activate the North Texas Emergency Alert System. The National Weather Service has issued a flash flood warning for Dallas County until 245. Doppler radar indicates thunderstorms producing heavy rain across Dallas County. Between one to three inches of rain has already fallen. Additional rainfall of another one to three inches will cause flash flooding. Flash flooding is either ongoing or imminent. Flash flooding caused by thunderstorms, flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses, as well as other poor drainage areas and low-lying areas. Locations include Irving, Grand Prairie, DeSoto, Grapevine, Lancaster, Farmers Branch, and Ball Springs, Seagerville, everything in Dallas County, under a flash flood warning until 2.45. All North Texas stations affected by this alert are requested to relay the preceding message.
Okay. Area on WBAP. Tornado watch remains in effect for the entire area until 2 a.m. Once again, new severe thunderstorm warnings have been issued for southwestern Kaufman County, northwestern Henderson County, eastern Hill County, central Ellis, and Navarro counties until 1 a.m. with severe thunderstorm warnings located from 7 miles northwest of Alma to near Italy, moving east of 35 miles per hour with 60 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter-sized hail. A tornado watch is in effect for the entire area until 2. All North Texas stations affected by this alert are re requested to relay the preceding message. <laughs> 